Hello and welcome back, I am Xari and last week we built this shipwreck and today we're gonna build but first we almost at 300 subscribers so if you want to help me grow this channel please subscribe. This week we're gonna build some ocean creatures like fish and crab, manta rays, some flamingos because I think we have the stage to actually add some creatures and I'm gonna show you first how to uh, build this stingray. So this is basically what I call the basic shape of the stingray. This is what we're going to make. And then I'm going to make some kind of different from that shape by adding blocks, removing blocks, like the wings of the manta ray going more up. But first I'm going to show you how I built that basic shape of the manta ray. Now it's not that difficult. I actually chose um, quartz and um, black stone. You can see that here because I think it just looks nice. Now do remember, you can just play around with the shape, you can add blocks or not. But this is the start, so this is the front of the manta ray and this block, let me show you um, exactly where this block is, because it's close to the head. Look, we're going to build that one and then we add the head to the manta ray. So that is what we're going to do now. And it's the stairs, it's like facing your way and then you turn around and then you do this again. And then for adding the head, you need some kind of blocks that you can remove. It's just to, um, to be able to place the stairs against it there. Because yeah, <laughs> we're in the sky and normal maybe you build this in the water. And then it's difficult to do. Now I really love manta rays. I don't know, they're like magical creatures. So and now um, for the eyes, I just use buttons. And now it actually looks like something that um, is recognizable <laughs> as like a fish or a manta ray. And now for the wings, it's like um, a T on that side and then one, two, three, and then the middle one, and that is the shape. And then you work um, to the, to his tail. And then for the wings, you also need some temporary blocks. Otherwise you can place uh, that stair over there. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just and there, and then uh, with carpet, it's like, and then you don't use carpet on the whole because the body in the middle is a bit thicker, so it's adding more 3D to it. And then uh, for the bottom, you need some buttons one on the side and two in the length. And basically, this is your stingray, that is all it is. So it's quite easy, it's not that difficult to make. And now I'm gonna make some different shapes to it. So I'm going to start with the wings. I want this one a little bit bigger, but not too much. So I'm adding subtle changes to it. And of course, if you're going to make a really big one, you also can make um, his back higher and his um, belly lower. Now, I also want to have it a little bit longer because if you have bigger wings, I think the fish or the manta ray should be a bit longer. And I'm just looking from above and below if I like the shape. And I think I can actually add a little bit more on the tail to give him a little bit of a different look. Yeah. See, and it's just looking what do you like and what you don't like. Then I'm coming back in with the carpets. And just see if I like it or not. I do like it from the front and I... Yeah, I think I, mi I miss a block at the wing because the wing tip looks a bit small in comparison to the rest of his body to that and I think that should do the trick to be honest for the wings see it's just a little bit different but if you um, make a couple of them all a little bit different it looks like they're actually moving and flying through the water now and if you make them then bigger you can also do this and of course add some more blocks if you want it's all all just oh, the wrong way that way it's just like playing around with the shape and now I'm actually already uh, built a couple of different manta rays with the wings up, with the wings down, or a smaller one and even a bigger one. See, it's all above me and I'm going to just fly around with the camera so you can see how it looks like from all the angles. And man, I think this is one of my favorite creatures to make if I build in like an, an ocean theme build. It's just, I don't know, something magical, something mysterious about him. I absolutely love him. 
What do you think? Yeah, and I actually think they they do fit this place here. So now we've built that, we're gonna go uh, to the next one. And I'm gonna just take you over. Maybe if you know this series, it's my Under the Sea series. You know I've been building here the couple of last, what, eight weeks, I think? Is this number eight? So this is the statue, the warrior that keeps my storage system safe. And up there is the iron farm in the big, big jellyfish. And actually, I got a build hack for a small jellyfish later on in the episode. There are my food farms, and then we can go all the way up here, through all the stairs. And I know it is a lot of color and a lot of blocks and a lot of in-your-face stuff, but I, uh, I want to go all the way to the top over there, to those water plants. And yeah, this is like my greenhouse. If you come in here, it's really nice. It has a kitchen, but it also has bees. And I love the roofs with glass and with um, leaves. Yeah, I think this is one of my favorite builds. So if you if you want to see all the episodes, I have a link in my description for the playlist. So you can watch them all back if you're new here, of course. If you've seen them all, then hey, be my guest and watch them all again. It's only good for the views. Now, these are the water plants I've been building. And I actually want to make some small fish in between. Now, I'm going to show you three different fish. The first one is really easy. And really small. I think it fits in whatever small build you've got going on. Maybe if you build an aquarium, this one will fit in there as well. And of course, you can also change the blocks. But you need like a full block, a stair, and then some glass panels and a button. Now, And this one, I kind of like uh, all the fins. They're a little bit different of color to play around with color. But you can also use just one color. And I haven't built this one before in this world. This is a really little fish. See, there we go. I think it looks quite cute. Don't you think? <laughs> and you can play around it with it. You can actually add some trapdoors to it. You can add like glow lichen um, underneath there. It's just what you like for detailing. Now I gotta build another one. This one is a little bit different because this one is even easier to make. It's the same. I'm gonna use the same blocks. You can use, of course, other blocks. So you can actually add a trap to over the face. But what I'm doing here is basically one fin there, the tail there, and a little fin there. So maybe this one is just born and not grown fully. And that's also a fish. I know. It's that easy. And now I'm going to build another fish. Well, if you've seen episode one, I think this might look familiar because I have been building this fish before and I love it because of the color. But now I'm going to use different blocks of color. There I used like diamond and blue blocks. And now I'm using this. It is glow like on, on top of a, a light block. It kind of mimics the, the, I don't know how you call them, cute cubes button for the eyes and then we're going back in with the glass panes for the tail and all the fins of course and yeah and you know you know i like to <laughs> use like two different it's like that the um the fins shift in color when they move i just like that i don't know i think i think this entire area shows that i love to work with color <laughs> and yeah that's definitely what I like. And there's another little fish. So this is how easy. So this is the second fish I wanted to show you. Oh yeah. And for the for the air and light bubbles. It, this just adds movement to the area. Now don't do it with all the little fish. Because then it looks really crowded and cluttered in the sky. But I just. It's a, just a funny trick. And I also use like white glass to mimic that. And now I'm going to build a puffer fish. A really small puffer fish. I'm not sure this one is actually belongs here in the theme at all, <laughs> all the mythical creatures and colors. But I thought it was fun to show you how easy it is to make a little puffer fish. And also, if you want to build your aquarium or just want to prank someone and build a puffer fish in front of the house or in their house. Now I'm using string so that the little fins will flow in the air. Well, it looks like they flow in the air, but... Um, and I think I only need two string, not three. So, oh, 
Let me add that one back. And a carpet. Yeah, and I'm using these colors because I think it's like a perfect fish how it looks like. And then add some more carpet up there. And then for the tail, we're also going to use these strings in, in the shape of an... Yeah, I don't know. You can see it when I place the carpet. You can see what shape they, it is. And here I also go in with, I think, two different colors. It's yellow and then a little bit of white just to give it a pop out. And there is your little puffer fish. See? <laughs> I know it looks derpy. <laughs> I know I do. But yeah. So I've been building this scene. I did remove the puffer fish. Because I think it didn't really fit in with this one. And I built another little fish. But this is this area. How to build small fish in Minecraft. Yeah, and I love the colors and the lights and everything. Now we're going, uh, oh, whoa, <laughs> I'm really bad in the year five walking. Just we're going over here because this area isn't really that full. And you see, I've been decorating and terraforming as well. And oh, oh gosh, yes, they arrived. The snails. Sorry, Hermitcroft, please don't give me a copyright strike. I'm going to show you how to build some different snails. And of course, this one is the one you see built here. And you can also play with uh, along with all kind of blocks. It's just basically a block, a wall, a fence, pickles or candles for the eyes, then uh, some glow lichen as the trail, the slime trail of the snail. And there's your snail. That's how easy it is. And I'm going to show you with a little bit of uh, different blocks and you can just transform one snail to the other. And with a glow lichen up there, or you can use a trapdoor there, whatever you like. And then see pickles as eyes. And candles as eyes, and this is how easy you can make them different. Now I want to show you a little bit of a different snail, a, a bigger snail. I'm going to use with glazed terracotta, and it is tricky to place them in the right way as I want, because I want to place the terracotta like in a circle. Um, yeah, see, because that is how this one is going. Of course, I have this this pattern also in my storage room, but it is. Is this corner, the second corner, that was a bit tricky. Let me see in there. Then you have to move. Yeah, I did that right. From there and there. See? Yes, yes. So now we have that one. Now for the fun from his, is it his head? His body? I don't know. I don't know. The glazed terracotta is basically his little house. And I'm using here uh, pots with um, plants. I know, very silly, but I thought it was just funny. Of course, you can use other eyes. <laughs> I mean, this probably don't look the best, but I found it funny. And then for this one here, now I like because the pattern is a little bit weird on top. I'm going to add some trapdoors there. And of course, some glow lichen for the slime snail of the trail. It's the slime snail of the trail snail. Whatever. Well, this is the biggest snail, and I love this little snail with a copper bulb and with um, the candles. I love it. You know, I love color. There's a little yellow one. Here's the one uh, with the high eyes. Yup. Here's the big snail. There he is. Oh, indeed. All the snails. There's one with some color as well. And here I use like a fence for the body that can work as well. And. <gasps> Oh man, they even got into my crops. Oh, I'm afraid in a couple of weeks I have no no food around here or, or leaves or whatever that they have eaten them all. <laughs> but yeah, this is basically a couple of different snails. And now a flamingo. I know it's not a fish, but it is on the other side. And I have here like this little fountain area. And I, I think the flamingo looks pretty funny. So am I ending the body? I'm using this copper rod as a, a leg of the flamingo. And um, it is not too tricky to make, but you have like the stairs, then the trap doors there, and then the trap door up here, and you, and you point it up that well, That's the most important one to do, right? Then you add a little slab. That is a, stone, a sandstone slab. And for the head, this is tricky to get, I know, but it actually looks the best. I tried it with a couple of different blocks, but the wither skull definitely looks the best. And you can, of course, add some glowstone of glow lichen to it. Now, for the body, you can also use like the cherry wood if you want a lighter version. And for the body, you can also use like a darker pink. 
just play around with the colors and I think I need some leaves here, some terraforming. So slowly I've been transforming this entire area with more nylium, more leaves, just to kind of fit it all together. That's because I used a lot of them at the shipwreck and in the beginning area I didn't add any leaves yet. So I like to tie them all together and to make a little scene. And I think it looks pretty good. I do like my uh, silly flamingos. <laughs> Uh, I thought I'm only going to do it for the video and then I remove them, but uh, I think I'm going to leave them. What do you think? In or out? Flamingo in or flamingo out? Now a jellyfish. Of course I'll build an entire big jellyfish to hide my iron farm, but I have some build hacks for a very small and easy jellyfish. All you need is like that, that wood from the nether, and then you can bone meal them, and that is like the drill. And if you kind of... Um, snip it with your shear it doesn't it stop growing and doesn't go all the way to the ground now, i like some glow lichen on top just to give it that pop and this is basically your, your jellyfish now i'm going to show you a couple of different ones because you can make also a little bit bigger jellyfish with adding some um, glass paints to it and yeah of course i'm gonna in with all kind of different colors every jellyfish is a little bit different but still is kind of built the same, so they all look like they belong together in this kind of little corner of the world. And then, uh, nope, that's a little bit too much. I want it in a little bit longer. And then I go back in with the shear on the very last one. So I already built a couple of different ones, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to fly up a little bit. And here you see all the different ones on different levels, a little bit to the front, a little bit to the back, lower, higher, so that they actually flowing with the waves and with the big jellyfish above them. And now the next one, the crabs. If you've seen my, was it my last episode? No, two or three episodes ago, I made some silly little crabs. Now, there's two kind of crabs I want you to show you. That is um, the smaller crab, that is this one. And then you have the little bit of the bigger crab, that is that one. And it is really easy to make. I'm just going to show you. You just need like a slab. You need some fence gates, walls, another fence gate there. Open it up. Yeah, I'm just thinking, but you just open it up like that on the other side as well. And then you can add... Um, eyes as you want. I really like candles. You can also use different color of candles or the sea pickles again. They look funny as well. And now the smaller crab. That one is a little bit tricky to kind of get in the area because it is floating above the sand and there's not much I can do. And I like to have the, the front claws different than the other ones. Now here I don't like when I add this one, the last one to it. So I remove it. Maybe this is just a little crab that still have to grow in. Now you can see it is kind of floating. That's weird. But if you go in with slabs, in this case I use sand, so sand slabs, then you kind of hide the fact that it doesn't really fit in. And I think from like a distance, it looks pretty good. So that's the small crab and that's the big crab. And that's how easy they are to make. And if you see it, I already around the shipwreck got a lot of crabs made. <laughs> Yeah. Now I say that is job done. Thank you for watching. Please, if you like my stuff, maybe, maybe do a like and a subscribe. It really helps me out. And now I'm going to show you in a flower over how it all looks. Mm -hmm.